Okay, hello besties and welcome to today's video. I know you all are going to be excited about this because I'm excited about this. If you know me, you know I love perfume. I have many, I wear many, I it's a passion of mine, okay? It's just me. And so whenever Juliana's perfume reached out to me and they were like, hey, do you want to do a video? And I was like, I would literally love nothing more. Like, let's work together. They were like, you can pick two perfumes, we'll send them to you, you can try them out and give your honest opinion. If you love them, great. If you hate them, whatever. You know, like, we want you to be honest, we want you to tell your viewers, this is how you feel. First of all, kudos to any brand that is willing to do that because that's huge. Most brands are not like that. They're like, pick your favorite products and talk about those rather than, you know, curating a, a whatever. You get what I'm saying. So that's huge. I really appreciate that. Appreciate them giving me creative freedom and giving me a platform to speak on things I love and things that I maybe wasn't so crazy about or that wasn't my personal preference, you know, because you may love a fragrance and I may hate it. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know. So let's get into it. Okay, they actually sent me eight perfumes. I picked two based on their website description, which I haven't pulled up on my phone because they have a really nice website. So on their website, it has all their fragrances pulled up here. So you can go through and you can click on any of the fragrances. Let's click on this one, Liquid Gold, um, which is supposed to be a similar to Gentle Fluidity Gold from M Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. So it tells you on here what you get. It tells you about each perfume. It tells you the concentration. It tells you the notes. It tells you literally everything, and there's a million ways to pay on here. Apple Pay, any card, literally any card, Visa, you name it, it's on here. Even Venmo, which I really liked and thought that was, like, very inclusive because a lot of places don't take certain cards. But then, one of my favorite things, like, before we get into the perfumes, I feel like this is necessary. Whenever I got these, I was so surprised because here's what comes inside. Okay, so you get the actual perfume. So, you get the perfume, then you get two sample bottles or two, like, travel bottles. But then, underneath... Let me wiggle it out. Underneath, you get this. This is the most, hands down, the most genius thing I've ever, ever, ever seen a perfume company do. So, you get this little tester, and you get a little card, and it says return policy. Return any unopened 50 milliliter bottle within 30 days for a full refund. Each 50 milliliter bottle ordered includes a 2 millimeter sample to, or 2 milliliter, oh my gosh, sorry, 2 milliliter sample to try each fragrance before making any commitment, and I think that is literally genius. So, it comes with this, this is, and then it tells you on it too, it tells you the, the name of the tester, or the name of the perfume on the tester, so you can open it, smell it, and then spray it on uh, the little card to make sure that you like it, which is absolutely genius, so you make sure that you like it, and then you have the full perfume bottle then you have the two travel bottles which is genius I mean like I know I've said that a hundred times but I just cannot get over the fact that they do that because nobody else does that literally no one so I was like that's so nice plus you get a ton of fragrance like you know they have the little samples at Sephora it takes me so long to go through those genuinely so long and I feel like you could test this out for a long time to make sure that you liked it on your skin to make sure that it went well with your pH to make sure that it was, like, going to be a fragrance that you would wear a lot. You know what I mean? So, I thought that was a really good idea. And, I don't know. Like, that's just... If I had a perfume company, I would take notes. So, now the part you've been waiting for. Let's get into it and let's smell the fragrances. So, obviously, I've played with all these. I've spray, sprayed all these. And I've smelled all these. So, I already have my formed opinions. Some of them I live for. Some of them I'm not so crazy about. It's not my personal journey. You know what I mean? It's not my personal journey. So the first one that I want to talk to you all about, which I know you all will go crazy over this, is their Aurora perfume. So this is the smell like, or this is the scent like Mason Francis Curtis on Baccarat Rouge 540. Hands down, let me find it on here because y'all will simply pass away. Aurora. So on here, I also like that the pictures kind of give you a vibe of what the, it's going to smell like. So you can see here, there's flowers, there's amber, there's a little bit of greens, and then it says on here the notes. So it has base note or top notes of violet, jasmine, saffron, and heart notes of praline and amber, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and oak moss. As soon as I opened it, like I did not even get it out of the box. Like I literally opened the box and I said that smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. And I have Baccarat Rouge 540, and I have other dupes of Baccarat Rouge 540. And this one lasts the longest on me. Now, there are other ones that I, like, absolutely love. But by far, this one lasts the longest of any um, less expensive version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And it smells delicious. And it lasts so long. I put this on my robe whenever I opened up this box and was, you know, smelled it. I had my robe on. And I sprayed it on my robe. And my robe still smells like it. So, I'm not sure how they did that. Um, but they managed to do it. And it smells so fancy. Smells so rich. Smells 
here's the what it says on here. It's a sweet, airy goodness, bliss and clouds of love. Oh man, it's so good. It says rich Madagascan vanilla and pure amber absolute tantalize everyone around you as if you were casting a spell on their in insatiable desires. The innocent yet fr sexy fragrance is a brilliant everyday wear. And I agree. It is like a really nice just everyday perfume and it's $69. All of the, all of the perfumes are $69, which literally blows my mind. And then I have a discount code. It's 15 off and you get 15% off of your um, first order, which is, it, it's just crazy. Like I, I genuinely, I, I can't fathom. Anyway, I love this one. It does smell identical, like identical. If you put Baccarat Rouge by 40 in front of me and you put this one in front of me, I would like to think that I'm a genius when it comes to fragrances and I'd be able to tell the difference, but I genuinely don't. So for $69 and then 15% off, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, babes. You really can't. And if you're like, oh, well, I just bought Baccarat Rouge 540. I wear this one over Baccarat because I'm like, that is so expensive. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to go through it. I ain't trying to go through it. But I would most definitely purchase Aurora again, you know. Okay, the next one that I have is Inner Beauty, which I'm pretty sure this is supposed to, yeah, Delina Exclusive. So I bought Delina Exclusive not too long ago. Like purchased the full, like actual Delina Exclusive. And I could punch myself in the throat for doing that because I wish I would have known that I was getting this perfume and I never would have purchased it. Matter of fact, I gave it to my mom, which makes me sick because it was so expensive. But anyways, it smells just like it. It smells just like it. But you know what? I smelled this one and I was like, I, that's the reason I gave it to my mom is because I was like, I'm going to wear this one more than I would wear a Delina Exclusive. There's something about this one that has a little bit of a deeper, deeper rose scent that's not so sweet and in your face like Delina Exclusive. Like you spray one spray of Delina and you're like out the door. Somebody probably might gag because it's so strong. You have to give it like 10 minutes to, to dry down and not be so pungent like in your face but with this one with inner beauty you don't have to do that you spray it and it smells so so good what the vibes give me for like Delaney exclusive and for inner beauty is just a very very wealthy put together woman that buys makeup from cost bar it's like she's just done that her whole life you know what I mean it's like she just uses Tom Ford and Chantecai and like these very very luxury um clay de po makeup brands and that's just like what they've done their whole life. Like they genuinely don't understand. They're like, I don't shop at Sephora. You know what I mean? They just walk in there. That's what they do. This is what they smell like. They have yachts and their husbands are like wealthy in real estate and they have a happy, healthy marriage. It's not like I'm so rich. I'm just a brat and like, don't talk to me. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm just wealthy. It's a very fresh, very feminine scent. If you don't like the smell of roses, it's probably not going to be your personal journey. Um... I usually don't like the smell of roses. Like, I'm not a rose girl, but this, for some reason, works really well, and it smells wonderful on, and I always get compliments. Always get compliments when I wear this, and people are just like, mm, ooh, sorry. People are just like, oh, that just smells so nice. Also, the bottles on these are just really beautiful. I really like them a whole lot. They look really nice sitting in my, um, uh, sitting with all my perfumes. They're just really pretty. So, that's that one, and for the notes of that, I'll give them to you. It's top notes of pear, lychee, bergamot, heart notes of Turkish rose, agarwood, incense, base notes of vanilla, amber, and woody notes, which I would agree. It's like a beautiful, um, rosy wood scent. It's a very wonderful balance between roses and between masculinity. That's how I would describe that one. Okay, this next one is called Dark, Dark Opulence, and I got this one because as soon as I saw the picture, which here's the picture. As soon as I saw like all those notes together, the rose, the the candied like pecans, the amber and stuff, I was like, oh, that sounds very much like me. And this one has top notes of almond, cinnamon, bergamot, heart notes of rose, jasmine, incense, tonka bean, base notes of vanilla, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, vetiver, vet, vetiver, I don't know, oak moss. So I was like, that sounds like a very deep, musky, lovely fragrance. And it says that the scent that this one's supposed to be similar to is Tonka Imperil. Imperil? I'm not really for sure. I do really like this one, but there's so much Tonka in it that I'm not sure. What this makes me think of is like a ski lodge. Let me spray it. Yeah. I very much get Barbasol, um, was it? Shaving cream. I very much get a mature version <laughs> of Barbasol shaving cream at a ski lodge in like Aspen. And that's, that's what it is. If you want to smell like Barbasol shaving cream at a ski lodge in Aspen, 
this is that, that exact smell. Like, you're with a bunch of men. Maybe they're, like, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever's friends. And you're all there and they're, like, big into skiing, snowboarding, that sort of vibe. This is exactly what that smells like. If you were in a house and, like, you were the one, like, baking cookies and doing all the womanly things. And then they were out there, like, wilding out on the slopes. This is the smell you would have in a house. And that's that. I don't ever see myself really wearing this because it's just so manly and I'm like all for manly perfumes manly colognes like I wear colognes myself but it's just so barbasol -y that I can't I can't vibe with that one that's not my personal journey it's not my personal journey but I can appreciate it I can appreciate it it has a nice smell and it's like a very um replicative replicative is that even a word it replicates at that specific thought in my mind like every time I smell that that's exactly what I think of Okay, let's move on to Call Me By Your Name. Call me my name. Okay, so this one is supposed to smell like gourmand, coquin. I've never heard of that one. I'm not really for sure. But on the picture, it has amber, chocolate, tonka bean, or like maybe coffee bean. I don't know. This is what it looks like on there. And so I was like, y'all, yeah, I'm going to try that. Yeah, baby. Top notes of chocolate and pink pepper, which usually I really like pink pepper. Heart notes of vanilla, amber, and jasmine. Base notes of something, something, brown sugar, and musk. I don't know how to pronounce those other two. Um, but the way that this... Okay, listen to this. This is like a literal love story. Like, let me just let me just read this to you. Colleen Hoover who, you know? Just kidding, I love her. About her. I fall into warmth as I recall your hands on my shoulders, then sliding down my waist, and all the best memories rush back to me. And welcome, welcome in... Can I read, please? I'm so sorry. I'm welcomed in again to breathe in bittersweet notes of chocolate mingled with pink pepper that stir my emotions, and I know the scent, even blindfolded. As I am roused gently from my daydream, I realize the sh shallow crest of vanilla and jasmine that so often beckon me back to this place, and I rev revel in the sweet notes of brown sugar and amber that have an uncanny ability to put my soul at ease. Somewhere on the wind, there's a subtle hum that always accompanies the smell of distant laurels I have so loved as long as, sh as I... I have so long loved as I shamelessly beg you to call me by your name. That would have been a whole lot more romantic if I could have read. I did go to college, but I must have forgot how to read. Okay. This one's very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. It's giving... It's giving Lip Smackers chocolate. You know the one. You know the one that you wore in the seventh grade. Maybe... No, it wasn't seventh grade. We were too mature then. It was, it was the third. It was the third grade. On the skin, it smells different, but it, the initial thought in my head is like that fake chocolate scent, and that's just not my personal vibe. I don't really like that one. No, I'm sorry. I don't like that one. It's too chocolatey for me. If you like the smell of something very, very sweet and something almost like childlike and sweet, I think you would really like that. But for me, I'm more into, y'all know, like musky, mature, dirty, filthy money. Like she's just so rich kind of scents, you know? Moving along. This is the Sex on Fire. And I picked this one out based on its notes. And I don't remember if I liked this one or not. So let me look it up. Okay. So this one is supposed to smell like Absolute Aphrodisiac. Or it's inspired by Af Absolute Aphrodisiac. Here is the picture. So you guys can get a kind of vibe of like warm amber scents. And then for the notes. It's top notes of Tahitian vanilla. Heart notes white flowers. Musk. And base notes of warm amber, Madagascan vanilla. And then the labdenum again. I don't really know how to pronounce that. So let's give this one a little a little sniff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mom had a friend and she lived with her grandmother and that's exactly what the grandmother's house smelled like, but not in a bad way. It kind of smells like, um, what are those huge flowers? I do get a whole lot of Tahitian vanilla. I get a whole lot of Tahitian vanilla. So it's a really like deep vanilla scent, but it's, it's like, a mature vanilla. It's not like a, I don't know, like a, like a childlike vanilla. It's not, it's not like vanilla bean Noel or something. It's a deeper vanilla and it kind of gives me flowery vanilla vibes, but in a very deep way. It's, it gives me as if the Tom Ford fragrance Tuscan leather was mixed with a, a very vanilla fragrance. So it's a vanilla tobacco to me, but it's also giving Mm. flowers so flowers vanilla and tobacco chopped up in one 
you put it in a vase, this is what it smells like. This is exactly what it smells like. So, you know, whatever your thoughts are for that. It gives me poker vibes. Like you're pay playing poker in a basement and the basement's like really dark and they have red leather, tufted red leather seats. And like everybody's playing smoker, playing spo sp playing poker and smoking a cigar and drinking bourbon. That's exactly what it smells like. That's exactly what it smells like. Okay. This one is liquid gold. Liquid gold. Just a thing of beauty. So this one's supposed to be inspired by gentle fluidity gold, which y'all know I found good dupes for gentle fluidity gold. This one literally just does smell. I, I, every note, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it with the Mason and Francis Kirk Dijon fragrances, but let me tell you, they're finna put them out of business. It just smells identical to it. Like just identical. I spoke about this in my last video. It just smells like quiet money. It smells like I have a yacht. It smells like this is on a princess poly tag, LOL. It just smells so nice, but it's like very, you're a mature woman. It's like, you're not going around wearing body sprays. If you have a body spray and you, and you wear that regularly, like you're probably not going to be wearing, you know, liquid gold, which is supposed to be like gentle fluidity gold. You're just not going to do it. It's just not you. But if you have like your life together and you're like on the come up and you're just, you're there, you know, you're there. You may not be there in your life. You may be still striving for things, but mentally you're there. This is what you smell like. It's like if you were in the movies theater, okay, and everyone around you was just like wearing sweatpants and like just chilling out. Like they just came to watch a movie, but you got off work, you know, you got off work and you went to that movie and you were like, I don't want to go home and change because I have too much to do. I have things to do when I get home. I'm just going to wear my work clothes. And then you smell like this. They'd be like, you, you'd find like volunteers in there. You'd be like, oh yeah, my office is hiring. They'd be like, I don't even want to be paid. Like you don't have to pay me. I will volunteer to work for you because you seem like you just have everything together. You're a mentor in someone's life. This does last so long. Like I've used this. It's last so long. It smells so nice. It's a really good deal. You get a heck of a lot of um, perfume in this. Plus you get the tester. Plus you get the two travel bottles. I can't say enough good things about this. The liquid gold bussin. It's a bussin fragrance. Let me read you the notes. Top notes, juniper berries, vanilla, and heart, vanilla heart. Um, middle notes of nutmeg and coriander and base notes of woodsy musk and amber and it's just i don't know it's just very very rich so nice it says the scent that lingers becomes one with your skin transporting you into a magical woods with musky undertones as your head rests on the pillow the final sense and and in, in, i'm just gonna cut that out and then it says about her is there any image more appealing than being draped in liquid gold oh my gosh that makes sense that's probably why it's named that that's probably why it's named that because it literally does smell like liquid gold that's what it smells like yeah liquid gold that's right bad. okay this one is called bad female dog i don't say cuss words here on my channel i don't do it it's not my personal journey so this one's you know this one and it is what it is what it is here's the what the picture of it looks like so you can get an idea of the notes I'll read the notes to you besties. Top notes of tuberose, veveteer, I don't know if I'm saying that right, pink pepper, fresh notes, um, heart notes of benzoin, benzoin, jasmine, orange blossom, base notes of tuberose, amber, and ylang ylang. Lang lang or ylang ylang, I'm not really for sure how to pronounce that, but either way, um, I really usually love things with that in it, ylang ylang or lang lang, whatever it's called. So this one looks amazing, and let's give it a sniff. It says, this girl just is that. And it, oh, also, this one's supposed to smell like um, Rouge Malachite is the one that it's, like, uh, inspired by. So, this one says, bursts of tuberose and veveteer steals everyone's attention immediately. She's full of life and irresistible, and we all envy her, but we know we're not, oh, we know not to mess around with her. Okay. Uh, her floral spicy aroma is not for the faint of heart. Like the boss she is, a sassy attitude follow her, follows her every step. The scent trail features sharp pink pepper, orange blossom, and succulent jasmine. The very nature of her seduction lies in her unapologetic demeanor. Okay. As, as the dry settles down, sensual notes of dark amber and cormorant, 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 warm up your body and whoever dares fantasizes over it. Go ahead and strut that walk. You're the sexiest woman walking. You better quit. You better quit. 
well, I'm gonna act up. I'm gonna act up. Okay, let's give it a sniff. At first, like upon first sniffle, you know, I was like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna be my personal journey, but I think it is. I think it is my personal journey. Let's give it another one. Yeah, the Lang Lang in there, yeah, Lang Lang. I don't really know how to say that, like I said a thousand times now. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I don't, or usually I love fragrances with that, and I definitely get a whole lot of that. I get a whole lot of that in the best way. It's a very, I could see spring, summertime fragrance, but it's just like, I am that girl. Like, you better get out of the way, I am that girl. I got the clean makeup look going on. I have all the gold jewelry. I have my skincare routine down pat. I do get up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. I smell really, really fresh. Like, what, whenever I first saw that, I was like, oh, it's going to be a really deep fragrance. It's not a really deep fragrance in the slightest. It's a very fresh, lighthearted, beautiful fragrance that's like, I am that girl, but I'm also like nice. Nah. Like you can come up to me at the coffee shop and talk to me. Like I'm not gonna bite your head off. I'm not gonna bite your head off. But whenever I'll get up and walk away, you're gonna be like, I think I just fell in love. I think I just L O V E, you know what I mean? Those are the vibes I get. It's stunning, it's beautiful, it's immaculate, it's literally everything. Yeah, I'm living for it. That's really good. Oh, that's really good. A beautiful spring and summer scent. I would mess heavy with this in the spring and summer you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. Yeah, you need that. That's a vibe. That's a major vibe. Just a thing of beauty. Okay, besties, this is the last one we have to talk about. And this one is Red Carpet Affair. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Okay, so this one says it's inspired by Angelique Noir. And then... Here are the notes. Angelica, Angelica pear, heart notes of lavender, rose, white musk, base notes of vanilla, jasmine, and sandback. I'm not sure what that is. So about her, this is the about her. Nude lipstick, red dress, and stilettos. You better work. Red carpet affair makes you feel like the most feminine woman in town. Lured in by sweet Angelica and edible pear to start the show. The rich vanilla dancing around these two aphrodisiacs. The blend of these notes can make you sniff your wrist over and over again, trying to figure out what exactly makes you want more. Watch out, bestie. At the one hour mark, waves of floral bouquet prance into the party. Wet rose, white musk, lavender, and jasmine guide your inference, guide your entrance into, guide your entrance, guide you into, guide you into complete nirvana. Sweet, floral, and seductive. Red carpet affair is the queen of compliments. Oh, my bestie. Let's get with it. Oh, Lord. Let's give her a sniff. Okay, so what's it say? Pear, vanilla, jasmine, sandback, lavender. Okay, okay. I get... Here's what exactly what it smells like to me. It smells like a little bit of, like, um... Oh, what does it smell like? Usually I'm really good at it. It gives me a little bit of, like, it smells a little bit like uh, pine trees. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. It smells a little bit like pine trees. It smells a little bit like pine trees, but like a soft version of pine trees in a, in a flower field. As if you had a, a large flower field filled with tons of beautiful flowers. And it was this beautiful spring day and the sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's just the perfect temperature. So there's a nice breeze blowing and it's lovely outside. And then there's a daggum pine tree in the middle of it. And you're like, wait just a minute. Do I like that? And you do, you do like the pine tree because it's very different. And it's like, oh, what the crisp scent of pine with this floral smell with all these flowers. And it's lovely. Oh, hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know about that one. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't know about it, but it's more good. Dang. She's gonna, she's the keeper. Red Carpet Affair, she's the keeper. Okay, besties. Okay, besties, that's all I got for you. That is all the perfumes from Juliana's Perfume. Thank you to Juliana's Perfumes for sponsoring this video and for partnering and for sending these to me. That was so nice, and I'm so, so, so excited. So, my favorites by far are Aurora, Inner Beauty, and let's see, Liquid Gold, Aurora, Inner Beauty, Liquid Gold, all the ones that smell similar to fragrances that I already have and love, and these are just amazing versions. Also, Sex on Fire, I did like this one. It's a very deep, kind of vibey scent. I'll, I'll mess around heavy with that. I like that a whole lot. But those are by far my favorite fragrances from them. I love that they do this. I love that they have the travel sample or the travel 
um, size perfumes in there. That's super nice. I love that it comes with this card so you can read about it and you can send it back. I love that it comes with a tester bottle so you don't have to worry about are you going to like it? It's going to smell right on you. Like I said in the beginning a thousand times, I do think that's genius. Also, one of the biggest things that they have is a um, poll on their website every month, which I can show you guys. So you go on there and then at the top it says you can go onto their poll and you can vote on the next releases. So on here it says which Juliana or which perfumes would you like Juliana's perfume to craft next? And then it gives you all sorts of perfumes to pick from that you think that they would do a really good job um, recreating for a more affordable price. So there's Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, Oriana per by Perfumes de Marley, uh, Delina La Rose by Perfumes de Marley, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract um, by MFK. Just like a ton and I think that's really neat that they want to hear from like their followers. They want to hear from their viewers and from the people who already have the perfumes or maybe you don't. What you would like to see them create because they do such a good job of replicating fragrances and I think that's amazing. They last forever on the skin. They have a wonderful price point. They're $69 plus with my discount code which is 15 off you get 15% off. Um, it's just so nice like genuinely so nice and I appreciate them giving me the creative uh, ability to talk freely and openly about my opinions on everything not just on the things that I liked but on the things that maybe I was a little bit questionable about or wasn't my personal like what I wanted you know maybe I don't want to smell like that you know and I love that and so I appreciate them so much for letting me be open and letting me be honest with you guys about everything and big thank you to them for partnering with me on this video uh, the links to everything will be left down in the description box as well as the discount code so you can get on there and shop. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking up my favorite ones. Like I said, Inner Beauty, Aurora, Aurora, Sex on Fire, Liquid Gold. Those are my top four. Um, I really love those and I think that you guys will enjoy them as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure that you like and subscribe before you leave and um, turn on your notification bell so you don't get or so you don't miss any of my new future uploads because I'm going to have a lot this coming month and it's going to be chef's kiss amazing going to new york i'm going to nashville it's going to be a big month uh, for me personally as well as for fawn beauty so many blessings many thanks thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a fabulous day